What's going on guys, Mr. Black Magic here, and this is a guide for the Fire or Red Bow in the Black Ops 3 Awakening DLC. Now for the first step, you're going to kind of want to come up to this clock tower and shoot that red symbol right there. That'll break open this wall and let you pick up that first piece of the arrow. Now for the second step, you have to teleport into the rocket area. See, I'm coming right from the pyramid. You have to open that door 1500, take the teleporter for 500, and just make sure you know it's 500 to get back out of here. So first thing you want to do is come right up and if you see this rock, I'm just showing it to you right now, you don't do it yet, but you see that rock right there that I'm aiming at, you'll have to initiate, or uh, let the rocket test initiate, run right out of this door, right, see, now the rocket test is starting, let the doors close, you have to sit here and wait, now once they open, I fast forwarded the videos just to, for time's sake, right when they open though, you run out of there and shoot that red glowing spot on that rock. If you miss it, you do have a little bit of time. You probably get two shots off, maybe three. But once you hit it right, you'll see that red uh, that red beam fly up there towards the electric trap. Now, this is easily the hardest part. This is the kill step for the bow. You have to take any of the three wonder spheres. They launch you across. Once you're up in the air, these circles will turn red, and you have to shoot them while you're in midair, and that'll light it on fire. Now what you have to do at all three of these, you have to be standing in the circle and kill zombies that are near you. Once you finish, you'll see that big red glow you just saw there. And that'll mean you're done for that one. Uh, just pay in mind that that red glow will only flash up for a few seconds and then it'll go away. So you need to make sure you're paying attention. Because uh, in case you miss it, it'll just go away and you won't really be able to tell if you've finished or not. Now as you see, the second one I just did right there, it's right up here by the electric trap. In case you're not sure if you hit it or not, the circle will stay on fire like it did there and also make a noise. Now for the last one, you have to come to the rocket area, uh, hit this wonder sphere right here on your way back, and you shoot right over there by the uh, root beer tap. So you see I missed right there, this is where the circle is, just showing you where it is. Um, but this is easily the hardest step. It's hard to hit these spots. It costs a lot to keep trying, especially for this rocket one, because it costs 500 to get there and 500 back. And you really don't have a shot on your way there if you're coming from the electric trap. Your really chance is only from the rocket back to where I just shot now. So that's the third one. Do the same thing in each one. Stand inside the circle and shoot zombies around you to fill it up. Now, once you're done with that step, you come back where we initially started back up here where the where you first got the bow hold X on this little wheel right here this little cog and you'll see a symbol uh, it can be any one of three symbols that's just the one I got so remember which symbol you have now there's three fireplaces cor one corresponding to each symbol so this first fireplace is right here in the church and if you look right there you can see the symbol that's uh, different than the one I got but if that's the one you need this is the one you're going to be working with now this symbol that I'm about to show you right here, this is the one that matches the symbol that I was shown, but like I said, it might be different for you, it's random every time. So here's the fireplace right outside uh, Samantha's room. And for the third one, this is right near the starting area. Uh, you gotta make sure you come right up these stairs, this is right near that dragon that you first start off with, right there. So the last fireplace is right there. Now what you're gonna do is, depending on which symbol you got, corresponding to which fireplace, one of the circles that you were just doing, one of those will be lit up. So for me, it was this one right here, the hardest one. And no matter which one you're at, you stand inside the circle, you'll get the red glow around your screen. And you have four shots. You have to shoot this little rock, this little lava rock. Right when you shoot, you have to hit the ground. You can't hit a wall, you can't hit a big object. Your arrow has to hit the ground, and it'll make this lava rock right here. Now you stand next to the lava rock and you'll see you get the red glow. Now I'm trying to back up. I missed this shot right here. It hits the wall. It doesn't hit anything so a lava rock doesn't appear and this one just stays. Now you got to watch your ammo for this because if you run out of ammo you're going to have to wait until you get more before you can continue because you'll need bow shots for this. So I'm trying to back up. Uh, shoot one so it lands in the ground appear. Now like I said you have four shots. Three of them to get close to your fireplace and the fourth one has to go inside the fireplace. So that was my second shot right there. I'm going to shoot the third one, and then the fourth one has to land inside the fireplace. So whichever spot you get, you have to do this for your fireplace. Basically, you find the red circle that's still lit up. That's the one you start with. And whichever fireplace you need to go to, that's the one you need to go to. Now, one little trick you can do with this 
is if you have another friend, I'm only playing with another one other person right here, so I can't do it, but you can actually shoot your friend and use them as a wall. So you can hit them right in the chest and then the rock will drop right in front of them. Just a little trick if you have an extra couple of people. So now once you're done with that part, you just walk up to the fireplace, hold X, puts his uh, arrow in, you take it out, hold X again. And so then we're almost done with this part now. Back where that big lava rock is where you're making all the red glow go up to that big lava rock that was floating above here. Now it's lowered down. You just walk up to this, hold X. It might be a little finicky. I had to move all around it and just keep spamming X. You might have to move back a little, move forward, move around it, whatever you gotta do. It'll float up in the air like that and here comes down your last piece of the upgraded arrow. Now you're off to the final spot and you go down to the pyramid area, find the correct box for the fire one. There it is right there. It's a red circle and all you have to do here is kill at the box. Uh, if you haven't done this yet, you just keep killing near the box the souls you'll see the souls from the zombies float into the box there's an audio cue once you're done if you're not sure when if you didn't hear that audio cue you're not sure if you're done or, or not you can just go up to the bowl and go up to the box and hold X with your bow out and that'll put your entire bow into there um, same thing if you don't see any more souls going into the box that's a cue that you're done take it out and here's the bow this is uh, probably the second best bow in the game if you're playing with two players, but yet again, that first killing part with the circles is pretty damn hard. But as you can see, it makes a little lava rock and then burns up the zombies. You get a lot of points from this too, so thanks for watching. Check my videos for the other bows.